called a dystonia, which, oh, yes. means, which means that all by itself his neck will just turn yeah. his head. Yeah. And he doesn't have any say in that, it just happens. Totally. So if he holds his hand, he can hold his head straight. Yeah, like this. Right. Otherwise, he's going to look at you. That's what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. So I saw him a couple of years ago, and he came in, and he was he was in a really, really bad way. He was. Have you adjusted that atlas before? I, I adjusted the atlas previously, on long the, back. On the right side? On the right, yeah. I think we need to start there. He's had numerous accidents. Yeah, no, I'd start with it. I'd start with it. Massive IM. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. 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 When did you have your operation for the... The shoulder. Last uh, March. And how long have you had the dystonia for? Uh, I, since 2009. 2009. Huh. I could manage it for three, four years, but after this accident, shoulder injury, that problem uh, got aggravated. You can turn your head if you want to, that's alright. See, I feel better when I open my mouth like this. Yeah, I, yeah, I can hold it straight. Close. Open. Close. Open. Close. Same, no yes. Uh, some 30 years before, when I was uh, 20 years or so. At that time, I tried to remove the cork of soda bottle like this. Mm. And this jaw went here and got stuck. Mm. Yeah. So nowadays I'm feeling, is it because of that? I think it is. Huh? I think it is. Just relax your jaw a little bit. Just relax that jaw a little bit. There you go. Alright. I want you to get these two fingers. Okay. And place the flat part, the flat. Flat, okay. The flat part of your head. Keep your head straight. Yeah. Yeah. So open your mouth wide. And feel sore, yes? Mm, yeah. Okay. On the left. I want you to do that every day like this. Okay. In there. Open slowly. That's it. And close. Open slowly. Close, open slowly, and close, good, we're going to do our best to fix that. Yeah. My pleasure, nice to meet you. Uh, yeah. What happens generally when I keep my hands down? This turns more. Yes. So I have to support. But you can feel today uh, that it's not turning that much. That's fantastic. Uh, or I can control it somewhat. Yeah. So before, for you to control it forward, yeah. mm -hmm. you would have to open your mouth very no. wide. So this no. is this is very big news. Yeah. For you. Now I can keep them a bit, but uh, earlier it was impossible. Yeah. Around 30% I feel relieved. That's fantastic. Mm. Really good. Yeah. Giving up this tablets. I am getting pain and there is no difference. So he said, he told me at that time I have to take this lifelong. So there the head of the department of neurology, he, he told me that I should take Botox injection, botulinum toxide. Then again it doesn't act. You know this man's been seen by some really high, high class neurologists and yeah. he's been told that it's a functional neurological disorder that it can't be fixed. That it'd be on medication for the rest of his life for the pain, not for the problem. So this, this guy's done really well. He's, um, the, the turning he can manage, he can put his arms down by his side and, and hold his head straight by himself which he hasn't been able to do in years. He's 
taking himself off his medication. It's really hard enough to do in these situations because there's definitely more to do. There's no question. Mm. But and like that C6 is so posterior inferior. But we just don't want to intervene too early. Yeah. He's sitting there really comfortably. It's got a little tendency to go, but yeah, not much. See, last time, as soon as he shut his jaw, immediately a really forceful turn of his head would happen, and I had to like, mm -hmm. really push. Yeah, yeah, you can feel it. But he's the, just, the difference you can feel. He's just sitting there. Yeah. Look, seems to relax in that position. Look really yeah. relaxed in that position. Yeah, I feel a bit. Uh, you, yeah, quite comfortable. Looks more comfortable. Yeah.